Pisces, <clears throat> this is Tara Queen Jamila here to do your September 2016 Fall Equinox and Love Reading for, um, yeah, September 2016, so I said it twice, okay. So I'm going to do the 10 card Deviant Moon Spread, <clears throat> and this is going to look, this is going to be for singles and for people involved, so, um, and then also... You know, this read may not resonate for everybody. So, you know, I definitely recommend a personalized reading if you want a personal uh, psychic reading. Um, you can go to um, my website. Link is in the video description box. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to your uh, fall equinox. And so I just want to let you know you did get the tower as your final outcome card which means that there's going to be some sort of significant change in your life around the end of September as a result um, as far as for the fall equinox you know I would say that you know whatever it is that you're doing um, I kind of see you as maybe changing directions changing jobs maybe there's going to be some possible uh, changes in your company so um, or just it just really shows the tower card shows that there's going to be some some unexpected change as far as these so I'll draw another card um, for that but I want to start off with the beginning of September or the general month of September your first card is the seven of Pentacles so this is a lot of luck but this is luck that comes at a cost okay going back to the fall equinox I mean you want to be what? careful with doing something that could possibly get you fast money, but money that comes with some sort of burden or either putting your eggs into the basket of something that's just not working. So Seven of Pentacles comes up. It really suggests the energy of um, some sort of, you know, putting energy into something that's just not working for you. So with love... Um, for the singles, you know, there's possibly something going on at work um, or at home, you know, that you're putting a lot of energy into. Maybe your ex, Pisces. Um, if you're involved with someone, there's definitely something going on financially, okay? The financial aspects of your relationship is definitely causing some sort of burden, And you're going to kind of feel as though, you know, especially when you're, you know, in a relationship, it just really seems that, you know, the Seven of Pentacles is where you are definitely putting energy um, into something that is not going to um, manifest anything. That's what the Seven of Pentacles means, okay? Um, it's a possibility, it really depends. You know, it depends on the outer line cards. But Seven of Pentacles, especially with the Pagan Tarot deck, you know, traditionally in the, tra in the traditional tarot, um, there is Seven of Pentacles just suggests some sort of you know, you're you're going off of like you're just getting lucky. So this is something that's something is wrong here with the seven of pentacles, in my opinion. Okay. This is um now it does mean some sort of business and trade, uh, long term success, but it still gives an unclear answer and also showing slow, steady growth. Okay, so it's it, it seems like um, it, it's just kind of it really depends on the outer line cards. Um, before it to come up, it just shows that you've had, you know, you you've worked hard and um, it's gonna eventually bring you growth. So you don't want you, you know you want to just keep trying. Okay, now as far as you know with love. Um, Seven of Pentacles is kind of, like I said, it's it's a wild card number with the Seven of Pentacles with as far as with um, interpreting with the tarot, you know, traditionally with the Seven of Pentacles. You know what that means. Um, <clears throat> 
It could mean that the relationship is going well, um, you know, if you're with someone, but it also just shows, um, you know, returns on investments also. <clears throat> but the Seven of Pentacles, it does carry some sort of burden, okay, with it. So now in the past, you got the Queen of Swords. So if you're single, you know, um, this could possibly be your ex, definitely, coming through to the reading. The energy of the Queen of Swords is pretty obvious. But I will draw some more cards if I can find them. <laughs> I don't know. Here they are. They're on my computer. Sorry. All right. So let me just ask the spirits what's up with this Queen of Swords that's coming up in the past. It's also the Initiate of Swords is what it is in the Pagan Tarot. So um, this could be male or female, of course. You know, that energy. I feel like you were dealing with someone in the past that was really bitter. Okay, Pisces. And it really took a toll on you. If you are currently involved with someone, there was some sort of conflict, possibly with the Queen of Swords coming through. Um, it's a literal person, but whoever it is, there's conflict. So um, another court card comes out in the past. So this is another literal person, <laughs> another separate person, a Queen of Cups. So let's find out what is up with these two people. How are they linked up in the past? All right. All right, so the two of pentacles Dad, comes Dad. up. So it definitely if you're single, there was um, you know, if you're currently single in September especially, <laughs> um there was some sort of um The swords and the chalice, I see the cup as you, Pisces, and I see the swords as the person you were involved with. And I kind of see with the two of pentacles that there was, um, you know, if, you know, if you're currently involved with someone, this is showing the past also. Um, you know, there was definitely some bitterness from your partner. And so it really required a lot of a juggle, you know, a really... A juggling act you know and it has something to do with money it definitely had something to do with money <clears throat> okay because subconsciously you got the king of pentacles so what's affecting you in September um, is going to be the king of pentacles um, king of pentacles is a literal person but this definitely I'm seeing a boss in here whoever your boss is whoever you work for uh, let me just ask the spirits, how is this person? So this is an actual person coming up that's affecting you subconsciously. So you want to watch out for that? Mom. So I'm just going to ask the spirits, Mom. this elder of pentacles. Yes, baby. Mommy. Okay. Mom. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, baby. Thank you. I'll see you later. Mom. Okay. So the king of pentacles, I want to know from the spirits, what, how is this king of pentacles affecting the Pisces subconsciously. Now, this is going to be for September, guys. So, it's not currently. This is September. So, just think we're kind of looking at this a month in advance, which is really valuable <clears throat> for you to know beforehand. Okay? So, uh, you got the Five of Wands. So, there's some sort of romantic competition. Someone that is uh, possibly pursuing you or your partner during this time. So that's what's going to be affecting you subconsciously. If you're involved with the Pisces, I'm going to tell you right now, there's possibly some sort of um, maybe something going on with the boss or someone that the Pisces works with. Um, Five of Wands comes up. So this is romantic Good. competition. So this is definitely uh, somebody either after you, your partner, or you know, vice versa. Now, your secret desires and wishes is going to be the Three of Swords. So, why would this be a secret desire and a wish? Well, it, what it means is that this is going to be uh, something that's going to cause you some issues, especially if you're single. 
you know, just kind of seeing what happened that's going to be affecting you in September. So, you know, there was a, there was cheating that happened. So you uh, possibly either right now or dealing with a cheating partner or suspecting that your partner is cheating. Now, the three of swords comes in to show, you know, you not wanting someone else to get hurt in the situation. Whoever it is, whoever it is that, you know, you're not planning on moving forward with, you know, you are really, really, you don't want them to get hurt. And so that bothers you. That's why that three of swords comes up under the secret desires and wishes, you know. Um, now, the hidden forces is the ten of swords. September is definitely going to be some difficulty in there for you. Okay, single or not. Pisces, um, I don't know if September is just kind of like a bummy, you know, kind of like a bum month for you, not bummy, but bum month for you or whatever, but just like a bummer, you know what I'm saying? Maybe September is not your month, but I mean, the Ten of Swords comes up saying that there's going to be something, some sort of loss is hidden, you know, that the Ten of Swords, it's, um, not only it foretells of some sort of physical pain, loss, suffering, but also mental, okay? So, you know, this is definitely going to be affecting you. If you're suspecting that your partner is cheating right now because it is September, it's only a month away. So um, definitely seeing that coming up, um, especially now when you move into the, uh, around the 15th to the end, almost... Go ahead, honey. Go, go, pee, go, pee, go, pee. Go ahead. Go on. Um, so the Eight of Swords comes up as a future event. So you're going to go through this with this Ten of Swords. You know, this is, this is something that's hidden. This is somebody that is trying to attack you. Could be your ex. Okay? Definitely seeing an ex in here. Um, or it could be your current partner. You know, they're going to do something that's going to really, um, you know, cause some pain to you. Now, moving into the 15th, you get the Eight of Swords. So, kind of showing you um, the relationship sort of going back. You know, um, Eight of Swords is, you know, it comes back to that partnership again. So, you know, whatever it is, it's gonna, you're gonna find peace and serenity um, probably around the middle of the month. Now, if you're single, um, same thing for you. You know, you may find some sort of um, resolution for the uh, conflict, you know, with your ex, if it is ex. Now, your surrounding environment is the Ace of Cups. So you've got some people around you Especially if you're single, that are hooking up and getting married, and it's not having a good effect on you. Because you got, for the next, so the Ace of Cups is like beautiful new beginnings. Um, that's your surrounding environment. So I get the sense that you're probably around a couple, or maybe you're around couples in your family. Maybe it kind of feels like, it's going to feel like everybody is connected but you. And the reason why I say that is because the effects of your surrounding environment, you got the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is really showing anxiety, depression. Even though your relationship seems to be going okay, still seems... Like there's some issues, okay? Still seems like there's some issues that are going to come to the because you're kind of going back and forth. And then also going back to this Elder of Pentacles affecting you subconsciously in September and the Five of Wands, okay? Now this is, guys, keep in mind this may not resonate with all of you. This may not happen to you in September. If, if this is for you, then it's for you, okay? Because it's, it's a general reading, so I don't want to scare nobody, <clears throat> but... Five of Wands is indicating that there's, uh, if you are Pisces or with a Pisces, that there could possibly be 
um, someone, Elder of Pentacles, which typically is someone really good with money, someone that might be, um, they're definitely, you know, more mature and wise as far as what that is concerned. And so with the Five of Wands coming in, you know, this person could be Earth sign, Earth, you know, Virgo, Capricorn, um, what's the other one? Taurus, so... Um, you know, or it could it could be any zodiac sign. It's just some, you know, definitely some some competition is going to be in your subconscious. You know, now what's affecting you spiritually is you got the Page of Swords. So this is a person coming through in spirit. It could be they might be speaking to you through another physical person, um, or it could be someone that is passed on. Maybe recently passed on, like someone young, someone that you were not expecting to pass away. That's a possibility. So I'm just going to ask the spirits about this page of swords. Um, that spirit, you know, does come with some sort of news or some sort of energy that could cause a conflict. So let me just ask the spirits, you know, what's going on with this page of swords? You know, is it conflict? What, like, this is the spirit. This is like spiritual forces so um you got the elemental of pentacles so you get another court card <laughs> in there interesting so this is another person might be your partner this energy is coming through spirit and it's affecting your partner especially if your partner is this elder of pentacles or if there's a spirit coming through this Elder of Pentacles, this Page of Pentacles is another messenger. So these are two people talking to each other. The Page is messages, writing, texting, talking, you know, or just energy. So I feel as though, you know, this Page of Swords, whoever this is, this is creating conflict. It's coming through your partner or someone surrounding your partner. Spirit, show me what is up with the, how is this elemental of swords and this elemental of pentacles related? You know, what is going on with this? So just explain a little bit more as to what's happening or what kind of outcome that's having, which we already can see the tower. So there is going to be some quick, unexpected change coming up for you. You got the sun card. You know, this energy is, you know, the sun card indicates a very good relationship, just a lot of fun, but it's, and, and it could be a long-term relationship with someone that you're in, and they're just not settling down with you. If you're with a Pisces, you know, and this resonates with you, then that could be what it is. It's because there is definitely some kind of conflicts coming in through your spirit, and that's not good. You need to do something about that. This is someone that probably has passed on. You know, this could be some sort of spirit in your house. It's causing whatever, some sort of conflict within the relationship. Now, the tower is your um, your final card, Pisces. And so the tower, again, what change is it going to be? Okay. Um, typically, it's changed for the better. It's when you you know, um, tear down false structures, but this could be you, you know, finding out something about your lover. Okay, the tower card is a little scary, you know, in a love reading. So, um, let me just see here real quickly, because I actually have a few other tidbits about the tower card, but I'm still going to ask the spirits. Um, what advice can I give to the Pisces? Because I don't want to leave it hanging. The rest of the reading was just... <laughs> um, so let's just brace ourselves, okay? I wasn't expecting this. And so if you guys are, you know, I don't know, maybe you possibly need some, you know, some help with that. Um, whatever it is that's going to be coming up in September, you know. So we're time traveling here. We're looking way ahead, like over a month ahead. So, or not over a month, but I started on these three weeks ago. So, <laughs> all right, Spirits, just explain me a little bit more about this tower. 
um, so that I can give this information to the Pisces for this reading, okay? All right, so you get the Four of Wands. So this is a wedding event or something. If you ask me, I don't want to say that, oh, this means that you're going to marry your partner or he's going to ask you to marry him or she's going to, you know, say yes. I don't want to say that because of the surrounding cards. The Four of Wands is definitely some sort of commitment. Now, I will say this. I will say that it is a possibility that, you know, um, there could be some sort of commitment, you know, in general. But with the surrounding cards, I got to warn you, especially with the sun card coming up. I mean, it could end up with a commitment at the end of the month, but it could also just mean that you are going to be going to a wedding or something or maybe... You know, there's going to be, it's it's about, it's going to be, the tower card is definitely associated with this wedding event or some sort of plan for a wedding. Um, so because that's kind of confusing, I'm going to ask the spirits, I'm going to do one more card for you, Pisces. Um, is Pisces going to be affected, good or bad, by this? Now, this is also if you're dating a Pisces, also if you're involved with one. So, if you suspect that there's some, that maybe you're seeing a married, somebody that's married, it's a possibility. Okay, so I'm just going to ask the spirits, you know, what does this Four of Wands, how is this going to affect the Pisces as an outcome <clears throat> for the month of September or the end of the month for the outcome? All right, so you got a person. You got the Knight of Wands. <laughs> so we're going to find out, you know, what does this Knight of Wands have to do with anything? Now, this is a, the Knight has a lot of energy, typically very positive. Spirit, show me what exactly is this Knight of Wands going to do? Right. Five of Pentacles. That's not good. So, um, not a very good omen. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Hopefully, this doesn't resonate with too many of you Pisces. But if it does, you might want to get a personal reading or either a consultation because this is not good. Especially with the fall equinox, you can find yourself possibly with some so, some sort of money problem with the five of pentacles you know this is five of pentacles indicate some sort of financial issue and so i that's why i started out like with all of these readings i started out with the last card as far as the fall equinox so there's something going on with this um five of pentacles definitely not a good sign um i'm not going to draw any more cards but I do want you to be prepared for, you know, something, you know. And I think that, I mean, my readings are usually pretty accurate. You know, people usually are like, wow, so yeah. So I um, caution you. And it's good that I did these in advance. That's why I did them in advance. So anyway, that's going to conclude it. Um, also, just to remind you with that five of pentacles, I don't want to leave you hanging. Uh, Five of Pentacles definitely does let you know, though, <clears throat> that you need to, um, definitely there's hope. Um, and so just, you know, connect with spirit and connect with God is what that means. You know, because um, always in the Five of Pentacles, you know, it's not a very good feeling in this card. It's when you feel like you don't, you're not getting enough love, you're not getting enough money, you're not, ha you don't have enough resources and um, there's always usually like a, you know, symbolism of a church or some sort of silver lining. So just keep in mind that, you know, you still got God no matter what's going on. You know, you still have God. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Um, also, um, 
Make sure that you thumbs up this video and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, Pisces. Namaste.